There we go. Sorry it took so long to get started, guys. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to the broadcast. Hope you're all doing well. Man, my controller's a tangled mess. Hold on a sec. You're gonna lose me. All right, then. That was weird. The controller disconnected when I plugged the headset back in. Anyways, welcome to tonight's broadcast. I hope you're all doing well and you're excited to get involved in the new solo game voting process. Yeah, that's what tonight's all about, folks. And also to look into the new Hot Wheels DLC. <coughs> Wait, I didn't tell you about that? Yeah, I did. You just gotta watch past broadcasts and keep up to date on that shit. So, yeah. I'm going to be hanging out tonight, playing some Forza Horizon 3, knocking out some crazy Hot Wheels stuff, seeing what's going on while I take you guys' votes for the new solo game that will start on Monday. We've got plenty of games to choose from in the list down below, so don't be shy. Take your time, look at it, tell me what you want to see. All right? see what's going on here auction house nine plus Ooh. let's see what happened what did I sell what sell didn't send a why just get rid of the fucking Honda please I don't want it <laughs> I've been trying to get rid of that thing since day one and I still can't get rid of it I don't want the fucking thing We got plenty more to claim, so this will take a little bit. So while this takes a little bit, y'all can get settled in. Oh shit, I already claimed that one. Damn it. I gotta delete it after I get it. Delete. Nissan GTR. That can go. Oh, that was the Skyline. The old school one. The 2000 or whatever. 40,000. Oh, somebody bought it out. They didn't even bother bidding on the damn thing. Cool. Works for me. Gets it out of my garage. Oops. Wrong button. I don't want no Rolls Royce. <laughs> Got rid of my Shelby Raptor, too. Looks like the only thing that didn't sell is that fucking Honda NSX. Ah, I just can't get rid of the fucker. Ouch. This guy won it for only nine grand. I get it. It's running around. Running away from me. Falling away from me. How much did we get from this Corvette? Two hundred and forty-four thousand. That's garbage compared to what it's worth. Fuckers. I hate auctions. <laughs> oh, he's got a good game of tag. I won't argue with that. The virus of life. Good song. Slipknot song. Even cooler. I got rid of my Horizon Edition Subi. Because I don't need a Horizon Edition Subi. My Subis are better. <laughs> 200000 for that, too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I 
falling away from me. Oops. Um, hold on. Well, if you hadn't left last night, Gunman, you would have known the answer to that, man. Welcome to the broadcast. And you're on time, don't worry. I was late tonight because I had to use the bathroom in a bad, bad way. But, uh, if, yeah, if you'd stuck around last night, you'd know the answer. So, do your own research. <laughs> and on top of that, the title should tell you. That's another thing. God, we got 938,000... This is... I got more money for this piece of shit Ford than I did my goddamn Camar or Corvette Horizon Edition. Where the fuck's the justice in that? It almost sold for a fucking mill. And it's a Ford. Fucking ridiculous. Fuck! the ground these are all cars that didn't sell in the auction house in case you're wondering Cars reclaimed. We have some work to go explore. Well, if you, you know, gunman, if you take the time to read the titles or look back, you get every answer you need. You know that as well as I do, bub. <laughs> My music's gotta get copywritten, I bet. But I'm gonna let it play and see what happens. Welcome to Horizon Hot Wheels, boss. That was the bone shaker. Our team's been busy building the largest, fastest, and most twin mill two. Oh, no, that's not twin mill two. That's regular twin mill, the old school. We want you to be there for the grand opening. This island paradise. Rip rod. <laughs> and a mechanical T-Rex. Really have to see it to believe it. So what do you say? Oh. Go for a spin? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I really do. Horizon Hot Wheels. Some of this stuff I'm still having a hard time believing. You'd better keep an open mind, boss. <laughs> I just can't believe that there's an actual fucking Mechanical T Rex. There's a driver who's got a bit of a following. <laughs> that lineup can go fuck itself right now, Kara. I don't care. I got a world of hot wheels to explore. <laughs> I am so excited, guys. I'm nervous and excited at the same time. So, the new Hot Wheels DLC is a world called Thrilltopia. Crazy name. Makes sense. Oh, shit. I'm expecting all sorts of crazy shit to be involved in this new area. I mean, it's Hot Wheels. Shit happens, that's just unexplainable. And of course, we're gonna go there in my favorite vehicle in the game. 
have some fun. Although I bet you it's going to make us start up using one of the uh, new cars, which I am perfectly fine with. Transit man. Yeah, everybody's got to figure out what the new solo game series is going to be. And I'll be recording your votes throughout the next week. Hey Tyler, welcome to the broadcast, bud. How you doing tonight? What do you mean flips galore? It wasn't that bad of a rollover. That was a baby rollover. You're a baby. I'm kidding. Going down to the beach. All right, cool. Oh, we're good. Just call it what they are, Tyler. They're giant Hot Wheels tracks. Life-size Hot Wheels tracks are something I have dreamt about since I was a child. You know, this is, this is good stuff. You have arrived at your destination. Horizon Hot Wheels. Can't record it, gunman. I'm broadcasting. Oh, the twin mill, rip rod, the Mustang, and the bone shaker. Incredible, aren't they? I mean, sure, they look the part, but just wait till we get them out there. Trust me, you're gonna see things from a whole new <laughs> That's a giant high wheels track. <laughs> <laughs> it's being lifted in by Chopper. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's the new Hot Wheels tracks, by the way. The original Hot Wheels tracks didn't have that design. The original Hot Wheels tracks, you'd put them together by these little connector pieces you'd stick into the bottom of the track. The new Hot Wheels tracks, you still stick these little connector pieces in them, but they have little buttons on them, so that you push the button to pop the track out from underneath the, uh, or sorry, the connector from underneath the track, so you can't put them together. And that's what those tracks were, that were being airlifted in were. No, no copyright music, please. That's the button I was talking about. <laughs> and that's the bone shaker. Yes, the bone shaker does exist in real life. That is a real car. Horizon Hot Wheels. Our team oh shit, we're driving. The largest, fastest, and most extreme island the world has ever seen. Pinch yourself, boss. It's real. Awesome. 
ton of them. Speed boosters? <laughs> what the fuck? Hot Wheels Air. Oh my god, they used the treasure hunt symbol. Ah. I was not expecting a big ass bank turn. That is awesome. Oh, loop the loop. I never had one of those. Yes, sir, Zemo. Wouldn't be asking for a new solo game if I hadn't. This is this is nuts. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to mention, we're Some still, still being built. Touches on the track. You know what's funny is real Hot Wheels cars, they don't stick to the center of the track. They just ride the edges until they, oh my god, dinosaur. Until they uh, run out of speed. Obviously, Warren. Nice. Hey, that was a Centenario. Of course the twin was faster. That was a crash zone. Oh, this is beautiful. Vertical corkscrew. Oh, no, not a corkscrew. It's a half screw. Yay! Giant flaming loop. Excellent introduction. Well done. Forza Thon. Nope. Rare achievement unlocked. Welcome to Horizon Hot Wheels. Survive your first drive of Horizon Hot Wheels. That is... That is exciting. Here it is, boss. The Our Rip Rod. Hot Wheels. You check the place out. I'm gonna go find the toy box. <laughs> Might not fit in your pocket, but it'll go a lot faster. I don't have a choice. All that let me pick was the Rip Rod. And that's okay. The Rip Rod's actually one of the cooler Hot Wheels out there. Although I never thought it was an off-road car, because if you look at it in Hot Wheels packages, it has slicks. It doesn't have off-road treaded Hot Wheels tires. <clears throat> Which is okay. If I remember correctly, this is one of the Hot Wheels they tried to do the barrel roll stunt with and fucked it up. But I don't know for sure. Hey, Slipstream. Here's how this is gonna work. The Hot Wheels people will be testing bigger and crazier setups, so I'll hook you up with faster and faster cars. We'll give out medals as qualifiers. Any questions? Nope. Then get out there. <laughs> oh, baby. This'll be fun. Stratospheric Slingshot. Spiral Summit. Supersonic Speedway. Thrill City. Jurassic Jungle. Cobra Coil. <laughs> These are all Hot Wheels puns. Crisscross Crash. You don't fuck with crisscross crash. Oh, we'll hear them all, Tyler. Don't worry. Rusty Reef, Dreadnought Drill, the Sky Track. The sizzling Sands. This is this is nuts. Tidal Teeth, the Hyperloop, Shadow of the Hyperloop. <laughs> Let's go for a drive. I absolutely adore the fact that the symbol they're using for this game is a treasure hunt symbol. Mm. 
And you can drive your regular Forza cars in the Hot Wheels world. All right. Good stuff. Nah, man. That Flame Circle logo is the Hot Wheels Treasure Hunt logo, and it has been that logo since the 1990s. Runner doesn't like Hot Wheels track. It has no traction. In 200 yards, turn right. In 100 yards, turn sharp left. Oh, there's XP boards and shit all over the place. Hold up. I didn't think there would be XP boards and stuff. Cool. Hey, Sonic. How you doing, buddy? I haven't Turn seen you right. in a while. Welcome to tonight's broadcast. Turn around when it is safe to do so. We gotta try and figure out our new solo game, so I figured we'd check out the new Hot Wheels DLC while we figured it out. Yards. Turn left. Oh yeah, the Ram Runner's throwing a fit about this track. In 400 yards. Turn left. Look at all that drifting. You're gonna see a lot of canvas driving poorly. Or driving cool. One of the two. You know what? Fuck it, I'm going straight across. Oh, there's a radio on. We don't want radio on. We can't have radio. What's this? It's a jump. Shit. Yeah, it's alright, Rainbow. It's alright. Not a whole lot of exciting shit has happened on Twitch lately. I mean, unless you're me. I'm a part of the Twitch affiliation program, which means eventually I start earning money from this, and we've hit almost 500 followers. So, some milestones have been created or surpassed since you, you disappeared. So what part of life has had you on the run, man? Since we haven't seen you in forever. Yards, turn right. How about I just drive right. straight, straight across? That's a crash junction. I love how they're using the old school track yards. parts. That looks like turn a track, right. jun track junction. Oh shit, I was supposed to turn left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. It's super overwhelming. Yards. Yeah, it's possible, Gunman. Hot Wheels High Rise Circuit. Here we go. We'll start slow. Give you time to adjust to the <clears throat> conditions. Don't worry. Once you see Hot Wheels' idea of slow, you'll understand why we have to build up to fast. <laughs> Stunt swap system. <laughs> it's making uh, kind of a a push at the uh, Hot Wheels track system, which is a great system. If you like creating your own batshit crazy stunts, the track builder system is for you. You can get whatever sis track system that comes out, whatever track playset that comes out, and you can take the parts off of it and you can virtually swap it with anything. That's what the new track builder stuff is doing, and I fucking love it. So it recommends B-Class. 
we can stick with the rip rod which is an actual hot rod or find a car that looks like a hot rod in my or a hot wheel in my collection there's a lot of classic muscle cars and stuff in the Hot Wheels collection so we've got a lot to choose from <laughs> no worries it'll be fun so we'll stick with the recommendation of using B-Class we'll go with something that's probably more Hot Wheels safe oh yeah let's do it let's get Mad Max on this bitch <laughs> look at those boosters they're belching flame Tyler do me a favor and quit talking about what I'm expecting <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. This is our first speed booster of the stage. Let's see if the GTHO can handle it. section. We're gonna have a crash. I feel it. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Told you we're gonna have a crash. with the GTHO Hot Wheel. I don't know if there is. You wouldn't let me shift up. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, it wouldn't let me shift out of fourth gear, so I was just hitting the red limiter. And the game was not having it. Yeah, watch the caps there, Sonic. Damn it. Why are they going so slow? The Hot Wheels fucking racers, for fuck's sake. Get moving. Yeah, you gotta be careful with them caps, bud.
I need to work on this thing's handling if I'm gonna be taking on hot wheels. Yeah, but it was all caps, Sonic. You can't use all caps. The limit on caps is like four or five. You go over that and the game, and Moobot's like, nah, can't have it. That was a fucking mess. I figured a Hot Wheels collector would do better on a Hot Wheels track. Hard difficulty bummer. Yeah, we got an achievement. Rare achievement. The upside down. Acc acclimatize yourself with the Hot Wheels race. There you go, Sonic. Well, well done. You know, guys, I think I'm just going to go cruise around. See what we can find. I love how there's just fucking Hot Wheels pieces lying all over the place. Look at that. Giant blue connector. We're, we got to go check out the giant blue connector. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 yards, turn right. 100 yards, turn left. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> the connectors are way bigger than I remember. <laughs> track pieces. That's a booster. So they're going this way. Can you get boosted going either direction is the question. <laughs> There's the carb. There's intake. It's, that's so stupid. It's so awesome. Look at that. Oh yeah, you get boosted going either direction. Cause that car, those cars just got blasted away. That's fucking nuts. Oh, that's too fucking funny, man. This is great. <laughs> I can't wait to do this with friends. This is gonna be so much fun. I wish I could get my little brother involved, but 
he's gonna hate me the instant he finds out about it. As soon as I tell him, oh yeah, there's Hot Wheels and Horizon 3, he's gonna be like, I want an Xbox One, I want an Xbox One, I want an Xbox One! It's my fault. I got the kid hooked on Hot Wheels. Tyler, they're Hot Wheels. I expect bad place boosters. <laughs> That's normal, trust me. God, I'd have to immediately slam it in the fifth gear to keep my speed from decreasing? That's scary. It just went over 190 miles an hour in the GTHO. Oh my god! In the GTHO. <laughs> Badly placed boosters. <laughs> The GTHO is handling the track a lot better than the Ram Rambler was, but I'm still having a hard time keeping traction. We gotta go. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be bad if I'm not going fast enough. Oh, alright, we got lucky. Apparently laws of physics don't apply. I was not expecting that, guys. Slammed it into six so that way I didn't lose as much. Don't say a word about what just happened. Fuck me. Can we get back onto the track over here? We can. Good. Don't worry about it, Gummin. Don't worry about it. Oops. Uh, there's Zeno driving around being stupid and shit. I'm kidding, bud. I'm kidding. Don't don't get angry. Wait, are we in Silver Sands right now? It looks like Silver Sands almost oh no, never mind. That's not Silver Sands. Dude! We're inside a boat! Ah, Looks like there's a barrier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the spirit, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs> Shouting on my YouTube channel for me without me having to do it myself. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this again. Ready? Let's go.
Nope. Just not going fast enough. Ah, I was hoping to track skip. That would have been cool. But I didn't. Oh yeah, I will be. But for now, I'm just kind of fucking around. Having fun. I mean, it's fucking Hot Wheels. You don't ever have a goal when you're playing with Hot Wheels, do you? You just play with them and do whatever hits your fancy. Oh, well, the XP board's up top. Alright. Shit. Okay, Tyler, I understand your frustration. I'm a fucking Hot Wheels collector, and I consider myself an expert in the world of Hot Wheels. But, doesn't mean to translate to a fucking video game like this. There's nothing like Hot Wheels video games. Hot Wheels video games are easy to play. This, this is Forza meets Hot Wheels, so it's rough. Oh, shit. No, that doesn't work. What a terrible spot to put a hot, fucking heavy ass car. I'm so glad they have those super high banked walls. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a rising jump right there. Yeah, check it out. Just a regular horizon jump. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. Like speedboard. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go up to the top of the mountain. We gotta get over there. Please tell me there's a booster at the base. There it is. Good. All right. Let's go make some Hot Wheels happen. 
Ooh, that's a super booster. If I didn't slam it in the sixth, we would have spun our tires to nothing. Oh, get off the get off the wall. Hey, Chain, welcome to the broadcast. How are you doing tonight, pal? We're upside down. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, we were we were upside down right there. Oh, that was mental. Let's get into the rip rod. Have some fun in an actual Hot Wheels car. Oops. There's a whole category of cars just called Hot Wheels. Okay. So we'll hop into the rip rod. Let's see if anybody's made some crazy designs for it yet. 20 bucks. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's a Team Hot Wheels one. Team Hot Wheels. That's pretty. Nice. Where's that purple one, though? I passed. Right there. I want that one. <laughs> it looks nice. Let's go have some fun in the rip rod. See what we can find. Mm -hmm. Nice and docile takeoff. Well, that explains why we didn't see you, bud. Happy belated birthday. 200 yards. Turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards. Turn left. Oop. Oh, who doesn't want to jump through a loop-de-loop? -loop? That would have been so cool. Why didn't they do that? Turn right. I should have done it. That would have been so cool.
noisy as fuck too. Ah, come on! Fucking Mustang. Don't want to chip the paint too much. <laughs> That's what Hot Wheels do when you crash them, they chip the paint away. God damn it. <laughs> it freaked me out. There's one of T Rexes. <laughs> oh shit. Fucking cool. <laughs> it's stupid, but it's cool. It did not like that. You're all right, Rip Rod. You're all right. All right, we're going down. Well, shit. <laughs> Let's go run into the T Rex's legs or something. See what happens. Ah, oh, you phase right through them. Bummer. There's invisible barricades around certain parts of it, but for the most part, you just phase right through it from the looks of it. There's an XP board nearby. Oh yeah, right fucking next to me. <laughs> nah, dude. Fucking high wheels. The worst damage you're ever going to inflict to a high wheel after a drop like that is maybe a bit of chipped paint. Shit. Alright. So we don't get on back there. Damn it. Well, yeah, in real life it would have absolutely destroyed the car. This is a Hot Wheel. Hot Wheels don't get destroyed. <laughs> Unless you purposely destroy them. We'll find our way back on I'm sh at some point, I'm sure. And Chain does have a point. You'd be dead so you wouldn't have to worry about the damage. To be honest. mechanical dinosaurs there actually are in the game or in the DLC.
Can't say I'm surprised that there was another XP board there. Can we drive on the, the tails? Nah, their tails aren't touching the ground. Bummer! Breakable trees this time. So you just find another way underneath. Yep, still has the invisible barrier on it. No surprise. Oh, that barrier goes out real far. Bummer, man. I was really hoping to have some fun with him. Oh, fucking Mercedes. <laughs> This is the Hot Wheels Mustang. It is a real Hot Wheels car, and it has many new colorations to it. Lose your bearings in the Cobra Coil in the Hot Wheels Mustang. It's got adjustable front and rear splitters. Beat the speed target. Shit. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. So we got any ideas of what we want to play for a new solo game starting next week, guys? Or is everybody still trying to figure it out? Like I said earlier, I'll be taking boats all week. Right into the T-Rex mouth. Good job, Camus. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh! <laughs> Alright. You won't go that way. Hold up. I don't really want Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. I don't like the Tom Clancy games, but Wildlands is the only one that kind of piqued my interest, and that was because Space and Aloysius wanted to get it, and they had this grand idea of how they're going to turn it into this crazy fucking event. 
for us all to do, and not one of them picked it up. So, I didn't bother. Turn left. Did what, bud? Turn right. Challenge accepted. Complete a bucket list challenge at Horizon Hot Wheels. Cool. Nice, two treasure on symbols. Man, that looks like the wild wave. Wild Wave is an old set that was always terrifying because if the car fucked up the slightest bit, man, it'd fly off and hit the ceiling. Ugh, I loved it. No! All the AI have the same idea that I do. They want to keep the speed up by sticking to the middle and get as much momentum out of it as they could. Now, oh, sweet, a boosterless loop. Are we going to be going fast enough? It's fucking awesome, Grady. It's exciting and it's definitely hot wheels. Physics are a bit wonky considering you know, that it is hot wheels, but I'm not bothered by it. I mean, what can you do? It's fucking hot wheels. They did what they could with the limitations and the grasp. I think it's exciting. I love the fact that they have the actual looking track from modern times. I love that they have Hot Wheels themed vents and names and all that jazz. But as I feared, it wasn't going to be absolutely batshit. At least not yet, but I haven't really scratched the surface of the expansion. We only did a little bit of shit, not a whole lot. Mostly, I've just been cruising around, fucking about, having a good time, exploring the uh, the island.
<laughs> We're redlining in top gear. Don't have the trail cat yet. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really scratched the surface of anything, so I don't have access to the hell, uh, the trail cat. Time to take it up to A class, which means bigger tracks, more loops, more G's, which means hold on to your hair, boss. Speed boost. Prove you have the chops to unlock A-class events at Horizon Hot Wheels. Oh yeah. In due time, bud. In due time. No rushing. I'm just cruising around having fun. Because tonight really isn't a major night. I was going to save more of this crazy shit for uh, Friday. Because... Tonight, we need to get votes going for a new solo game that we start next week. In 100 yards, turn right. Fucking space in his Mustang. In 100 yards, turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Yeah, the boost pads are pretty, pretty insane. Turn left. Well, but when considering that the original boost pads used to be foam roller discs that were on a little electric motor, that's not that crazy. <laughs> He's not ready for that shit. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. The boost pads, yes. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. Welcome back, Sonic. How you doing, man? <laughs> All right, Sonic. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Um, welcome back and good night. <laughs> class stops at the Lambo Yalpa. <laughs> lots and lots to choose from. But we'll stick in the rip rod.
Probably because he's been here longer, Grady, and doesn't have a whole lot of questions that need to be answered. <laughs> but. Alright, remember, keep your speed up for the loops the and banks. And if your wheels catch on fire, that's a good thing. What? Don't say that. Windmill. Those are the th main three that really stick out to me, but there's also the Hot Wheels Mustang and probably some others that really need to be uh, looked into that I don't have yet. I'm not sure how much the rip rod has. I don't like the Hot Wheels Mustang. Too many gaps and open spaces in it. Too fast. Rip rod's not meant to go that fast. That's what I was afraid of. Rip rod's more of an off road kind of deal, not high speed insanity. knows they might ah, I knew it yeah, this thing just ain't meant to go that fast I don't know you're asking me questions about stuff that I don't know the answer to man Oh, how do you get to it? There's a big old icon on your map, just like there is for Blizzard Mountain. It says Thrilltopia or something like that. Dinosaur Rod. The Twin Mill is a car in this in this new DLC release. The only downside is I didn't get to use it. That was a terrible run. The Rip Rod's not fast enough. Need something faster. Ooh. Okay. We got a new car to go hunt down. It says it was added to my garage. So I'll get it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. 200 yards, turn right. Oh yeah, dude, it's entirely possible. 
Like I already said, you never know what's gonna happen. Just like none of us were expecting a Hot Wheels themed DLC for fucking Forza. What is what? You make me do an awful lot of reading, man, and I keep fucking up. So what is what? See, man. Turn left. Who knows? Yards. If it's a new left. Hot Wheel themed car, it could be anything. I'm Keep leaning left. towards the Twin Mill or the Bone Shaker. More on the lines of the Twin Mill. Which is okay with me. The Titan was afraid to go on the boost strip. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> you stupid AI! <laughs> Turn around when it is safe to do so. Has eight gears. They gotta be short. In 200 yards. I wonder why I wasn't left. going that fast. Now I feel stupid. Turn left. In 200 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, I thought it'd be all cool and slide in there. Destination. What's our new car? Let's see what we got. It's the Bone Shaker. Nice. A good call. It is indeed the bone shaker, Grady. That is the most epic Is that a trans brake? Looks like a fucking trans brake. Oh, those seats look rough. Now, when you explode it, all it does is close and open the door. Nice. Don't know, but we can find out later, Grady. Cool. 
but I'm pretty sure that you can drive these in the normal map considering they're just DLCs. We'll just have to wait and see. Moonies! Nice. We're going with the Moonies. Even though it's not Moonies, it's actually Moon Eyes, but Moonies is what I've always called it. It's what my dad called it, too. Moonies is a performance parts production group. They make super high-performance shit. Let's see what upgrades they give it. Body kit presets. Whew. Slams the living shit out of it. Red lines. Wow, that sits so low. The skull is practically dragging on the ground. That's wicked. I gotta have the red lines. I have to. Now let's see how fat we're talking here. Whew, they're already huge to begin with. Over 420. Oh my god. Shoo. Them are some big boys, but we don't need them right now. <laughs> it puts a roll cage over the top of the car. Nice. I like that. That's cool. Well, of course, I won't use it, but still. All right, let's see what we got. We got the Rip Rod, Bone Shaker, Mustang, and the Twin Mill. Beautiful. I'm expecting to see Highway 35 Road Beasts. Yeah! Highway. Damn it. That is gorgeous. Sorry about that. My head. My controller is being really fucking finicky tonight. Um. Hot Wheels Highway 35 was designed and created to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Hot Wheels. And it just so happens to be that 35 is my lucky number. One of the teams in the Hot Wheels 35 movie series was the Road Beasts. This was not the leader's car, but it was probably my favorite out of the Road Beasts. that.
that sounds cool. Those are, from what I recall, the original twin mill that was made into a real life car had twin 454 big block Chevy motors. Tire smoker. I think it had over 1100 horsepower or something like that. And Twin Mill came out in 1968. It's one of the original red line cars. But this is my preferred version of it. The Highway 35. <laughs> Figured it wouldn't take the water too nicely. Yes, sir, Pack. Welcome to broadcast, bud. How you doing tonight? Oh, shit. It only has six speeds. Interesting. six-speed transmission can handle that much bullshit going on. Whew. This is this is good stuff, guys. What pack? What you talking about, bud? Film. Gotcha. Oh, that's a crash junction. This thing's hard to drive, guys. If I recall correctly, Brady, when this car was first made in real life with the twin 454s, it had 1,100 horsepower. 1,100. Nice pack. That's exciting. Oh god, yeah. The lighting in that was fucking terrible. This makes me so fucking happy.
I had to, dude. It's a fucking twin mill. This car is legendary amongst Hot Wheels collectors. I cannot tell you how many different versions of it I have. I can't. I have so fucking many. <laughs> The only one that I don't have is an original from That was a terrible spot for a booster. <laughs> too many for me to count. I have too fucking many. And I will never ever be satisfied till I have them all. <laughs> but it's never gonna happen, of course. Oh shit. I used to have just a huge bin. Now I have bins, boxes, buckets, and a couple of shelves. <laughs> God fucking damn it. My headset is being so stupid. Control is being stupid. It's got an attitude and it's driving me nuts. Alright. So the next big purchase. We gotta... <coughs> excuse me. Get our Jeep Trail Cat. I apologize for belching. And there she is. The Jeep Trail Cat. Looks like a Jeep Hurricane almost. It's free. doesn't cost me a cent. Let's see what kind of crazy designs people have thrown on it. It's like a lot of military and bogger themes. That's depressing. I was expecting more creativity out of people. That one's pretty cool. I don't know what the fuck it is, though. <laughs> Monster camouflage. That's not bad. It's got a Hot Wheels symbol on it, so that's pretty neat. But we'll just keep it as is and paint it purple. Nice. That was easy. <laughs> so considering this has a Jeep Hellcat engine, it probably has 600, 700 horsepower, bud. It's 
find out. Yeah. Max RPM, 700 horsepower flat. Oh, me too, Pack. I still have mine. I have every Hot Wheels game that's ever been created, except for some of the newer stuff. So yeah, 700 horsepower flat. That almost has 700 foot-pounds of torque, too. 690-something horse foot-pounds. That's a lot of torque. See what happens when you look at the supercharger. Boom! <laughs> Damn near... Damn near 900 horsepower with just the supercharger add-on. Holy fuck! So, yeah... This will be a lot of fun to work on later on, but for now, we're going to leave it as is. Except maybe check the brakes. Yeah, we need we need good brakes. <laughs> this is a lot of weight to be thrown around. Does it have teeth on the side of it, Pack Attack? Because I can tell you what that thing is called if you give me a sec. If it has uh, painted teeth on it or something like that, it's actually not a Jeep, per se, according to the base of it. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm drawing a blank on it. I lied. Visual upgrades? You get a front bumper upgrade edition. Gives you winch and tow hooks. Not bad. Ooh! I like the spare tire. I want the spare tire. <laughs> Jeez, these tires are fucking huge. Okay. That sounds like it's just one of their hot, the Hot Wheels military vehicles. It's all right. Don't stress yourself over it. There's a lot of Hot Wheels out there that are like that. Where's the light bar? I didn't look. And why do you want a light bar? I don't want a light bar. That's the light bar. The light bar comes with the front end mod. So if you add the winch and tow hooks, you get the light bar. But I don't want the light bar. La Fasta? That's an old, crazy, nutso take on a uh, Hot Wheels hypercar. It's a 2000... 2012 model, I think, La Fasta. I'm not sure, though. That's a really cool car. Really fast on uh, tracks, as long as you don't have any hills. God oh, damn it, gunman. You can swap it from rear all-wheel to rear wheel. <laughs> I don't want to do that in a Jeep. Are you kidding me? So, yeah. We got a lot of stuff to play with. Should be fun. La Fasta is an old is a older model Hot Wheel, not old school, just older. All right.
Hey, Reasoned. Welcome to the broadcast, bud. How you doing tonight? Good to see you come back. Two little spotlights. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, dear. Intend on taking it off roading or trailing or something like that. You're gonna need spotlights. You gotta be careful with that kind of jazz. And reasoned, I don't drift. I find drifting a waste of speed. I don't care how it looks. It's not useful. Hell oh, yeah, dude. It's a fucking Jeep. Who wouldn't? Ouch. No problem, Grady. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Before you leave, did you come up with a game you want me to play for the new solo series? Because I haven't got a single boat for that stuff yet. Ooh. goes for everybody who's here right now. If, if you haven't, I would very much like to know if you guys got any ideas for what solo game we're going to play. I'll be taking votes all week long, so don't worry about it if you don't get your vote into May. I don't know. After the vote, after the votes are uh, in and settled, I get rid of it once we move on to the game that's won. I erase all the information. So I have no idea what was in second place. Sounds like fast gas and look on the bottom of it and it'll tell you usually what model it is. Pack. Oh shit. We should probably go do a race instead of just driving around. Tire fryer. That thing's the shit. It's a fast car. You put it on a Hot Wheels track, it's pretty hard to beat because it's got those super skinny front tires. <laughs> Pretty bossy, I guess, Jane. Pretty sweet. Not done on purpose in the slightest, either. So that makes it even cool cooler. You have arrived at your destination. Zodic, you mean, Pack? Bulletstorm. Okay, I can I can put down a vote for Bulletstorm. Nothing wrong with that at all. One vote down for Bulletstorm. Looks like I need some more B-Class. Let's take the Porsche.
Sorry about that, guys. Fucking... Shit's having problems. Music stopped working, and then the controller died, and all that jazz. You take it easy, Grady. Have a good night. Thank you, Gunman, for your vote. I typed it in. Howlin' Heat. Well, what year model Howlin' Heat pack? Because there's one model of the Howlin' Heat that came out recently that's actually a regular treasure hunt. Describe the color pattern to me, please. Actually, you know what? Better yet, look at the, the top of the dog's head. Look at the roof of the car. Is there a Circle Flame logo in it? Because if there is, you got yourself a regular treasure. Which means it's a limited production model and has more value than your regular Hot Wheels car. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you don't have the uh, regular Treasure Hunt version. That's all right. You still got a really cool car. Howland Heat 2010 edition, I think, is like its second year of existing. So that makes it pretty special. Fucking cool, guys. See, one of the things about most Hot Wheels collectors, I'll probably get carried off topic here, guys, but most Hot Wheels collectors nowadays don't really care about anything but the high value models. Stuff that's worth, you know, five or six bucks a car, which is, which is wrong, in my opinion. And most of those five, six dollar cars, and these are just regular mainline Hot Wheels that you buy for a dollar at the store. Even though you can buy any Hot Wheel at a store for a dollar, there are certain cars that still have higher value, even if it's just mainline. There's a Nissan Fairlady Z that's out right now that is selling on the market for the price of a Super Treasure Hunt. Okay? Super Treasure Hunts are extremely rare. There's usually only like 6,000 made worldwide. They have... A very special paint job they're given rubber tires and just they're made absolutely perfect metal on metal bodies they're gorgeous those sell anywhere from their baseline for most supers is 15 to 20 dollars there's some super treasure hunts that sell in the hundreds okay but when you're selling a regular mainline car like the Nissan that I was talking about for 15 bucks it's not the same value as a super anymore. It just completely cuts the values of supers and shit down. It's bullshit. 
and most child, collectors nowadays a don't give a shit well, about it. At least. They're gonna That's take the them, and Be they're gonna the sell them on the market for way more. Aftermarket. Collectors like myself, who don't have time to get out at night, when they're releasing new cases and stuff to hunt them down, will never get the chance to pay a proper price for them. I'll always have to get it from the aftermarket. And it makes me mad. He's moving his head because he's biting the track, gunman. See? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love it. But yeah, as I was saying, regular treasure hunts are produced a little bit more widespread. I think there's like 10 or 12,000 worldwide. I can't remember the exact number. And they're not as valuable as supers, but they're still pretty special. The symbol that they're using in this expansion, you know, that Flame and Circle logo, is the treasure hunt logo. If you see that on a car or a Hot Wheels card, you have found yourself a regular treasure hunt. And they're worth anywhere from 5 to $10. Get a load of this. One of the homeless people comes up to me and says, I heard a rumor about a car abandoned in an old building around here. Isn't that weird? <gasps> I just smiled and said, nah. <gasps> I didn't know there were barn yeah, finds well, in this expansion. <laughs> oh, that's exciting, guys. What was I saying before we get interrupted by the barn farm? It doesn't matter, we're getting a barn farm. This is so exciting. I don't know what it's gonna be. I wonder which red line it's gonna be. Oh man. Tire Fryer? Yeah. Tire Fryer is a really cool model, dude. They stopped producing it recently. It's no longer available in production. They might bring it back in a couple of years, but for now, it's gone. Which is sad. In 400 yards, turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Destination. Gotta get down there somehow. Mm hmm. Doesn't surprise me, bud. Shit, that's not how we get down. Alright, we'll cheat. Because I'm more excited about this barn find than you guys can ever understand. <laughs> it's only a grand. Ah, shit, it doesn't put you in... Do I have to fall off the track? <laughs> that would probably be Autobot Real Jack. Pack. That's funny. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
How do I get down? <laughs> I want to get off the Hot Wheels track. <laughs> Bingo. Found my inn. That's a minicon. You have yourself a minicon pack. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. The minicons were in the Transformers Armada and Transformers Energon TV series from the mid 2000s. What the minicons would do is they would link up with the full size Autobots, increasing their power output, giving them special weapons, all that kind of crazy shit. So you actually have one of those minicons. It's not a diamond logo. It's a, uh, a penta. And the penta represents the sleeper cells that the minicons were held in. See, the minicons were sent from planet Cybertron to Earth in a panic, trying to keep the Decepticons from getting them. <laughs> so they all landed on Earth in these stasis capsules, and they're in the shape of that little pentas, penta symbol. They'd touch the penna symbol and it would awaken the minicon within and bam, they got themselves a new little toy. Now, the Transformers Armada and Energon toys had the exact same thing. Every Autobot and Decepticon and everything in between came with a minicon. And if you had a group of minicons, those minicons could fuse together and form something amazing. And you'd put them on the Transformers toys themselves and it would give them new sounds or new speeches, that kind of stuff. But they could only be activated if you had the right minicon. There's an AI down here with me. <laughs> the cyber planet keys, those are pretty cool. Man, we're just having a fucking nerd fest right now, Pack. Holy shit. Nerding out on Hot Wheels, nerding out on Transformers. What's next? What about the rest of you guys that are in here? What do you guys want to nerd out on? Let me know, and maybe I can uh, give you some info on it. Fuck says barn find. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Your name's... your message is blocked by the, uh... Eh, that doesn't really help me much, Pack. I can't tell you what Minicon that is. I didn't manage to get a lot of the Minicons in the Transformers series. It made me sad. But, I guarantee you, you do some internet research, you'll find it. I have one of the coolest Transformers Energon, or Transformers Armada toys, at least in my opinion. He was very...
Ah. Why does it keep doing that to me? It's a just my controller just shut off again, which is weird because it's fucking wired. What was I saying? We're talking about the coolest transformer out there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that one is a bitch to transform. Um, I have a Transformers Armada character known as Tidal Wave. Look up Tidal Wave if you're interested. But I'm just going to tell you this. He's a fucking battleship. And he was one of the hardest to find. The only thing that I think is cooler than Tidal Wave is Unicron. And I can't afford him. <laughs> the Unicron Transformer I think sells for like $300 or some shit. Oh my, I can't do this in a fucking shitty ass car. <laughs> I love my Porsche, but it's not powerful enough. We need the Hellcat. Not Hellcat, Trailcat. Or some other badass off-roader. But... out in the water, so it's got to be somewhere in this jungle. Probably would help if it was daytime, too. figure, you know, it would stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, look at that. Bingo. We found it. Some ratty-ass shack in the middle of nowhere. What do we have? You reckon we could get Hot Wheels to make us little barns to keep our classic car models in? Oh my god. It's the 32 look Ford. That. That's old. That's ancient. It's a Ford Deluxe, the Coupe, I think. 1930 something. That is a 32 Ford. Now we drive that is one of the most popular Hot Wheels of the 1970s and 1960s. Oh. I'll get him back to the auto show for a spit and polish. 
should come up looking Rare achievement unlocked. Collector's edition. Restore the barn find on Hot Wheels Island. The 1932 Ford would be one of the highest demanded pieces year after year. Starting in the 70s is when it really took off. But I know they came out with one in the 60s. I have about two or three versions of it from the 1990s that I really liked. One in particular that I really, really like is Blue Flames on a white body. Very similar to another game which we'll be playing tomorrow, The Crew. My Hot Rod Hup one in perf spec has the exact same paint job. So that that is that is awesome. That's a good barn find. I like that. Do we have any other B-class races? Or was it just the two? Shit. That's alright, dude. New gen transformers are kinda shitty compared to the old school ones. Unless you get like the deluxe editions and whatnot. Oh, dude, fucking GoBots. <laughs> Love it. Were you one of those guys that thought GoBots were, were cooler than Transformers pack? Because if so, I don't know how long we can keep our friendship going. Hey, no worries, Chain. What game are you voting for? Or are you going to come back in another day and give me a vote? I need to know the new Solo series, okay? That's fucking cool. It's just a track sitting right there. Oh, it's floating. shaker. It'll be the first race with it, too. How do you think it's going to go? Alright, Shane. Don't worry. I'll be asking all week. Wow, I don't belong in this race at all. <laughs> OK, 
God, that's fucking beautiful. That Mooney's paint job is just gorgeous. Holy shit! <laughs> Use the berms to your advantage, Canvas. It's a big old ball. You got this. Actually. Just a matter of when. Oh, there's no shifting animation. That's dumb. I don't know why, but my heart's racing. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited as shit to keep to be playing this, but I don't know why my heart's racing. Normally, my heart races when I'm on, when I'm nervous. I guess secretly I'm nervous that I'm gonna fuck up again. It would make sense. You know, this is something a little out of my. Comfort zone. All the gravity inside me, it lay to a beautiful sun. Oh, look at those red lines. That's so cool.
drop my cap to my water. Anyways, guys. Overall opinion. I need you guys to tell me what you think so far. Those of you that have been hanging out. And I still do need votes for solo games, so give me both. Shit. Thank you, Gunner. Thank you for responding. I appreciate it. Considering that there's six of you here. Lurkers. Don't be shy. I'm asking you to get involved. Well, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But I really like it when you guys talk to me. ready for that. More craziness? Like, what kind of craziness? We talking loop-the-loops that lead to corkscrews and shit? Because you never know. That shit might be coming, but... Nice pack. The uh, Ferrari GTO Hot Wheels Edition. What year does the base plate say, pack? Can you can you tell me? Give it the year of the GTO and then I'll give you a copyright. In 400 yards, turn right. Look for the little copyright symbol. It'll either be on the base where the gas tank would be, or up to the top where the wheel axles are, or on the quarter panels. Right, that's gonna have to wait. We're gonna go get our new car. Keep left. B fifteen. It was made in the fifteenth week. It was made mid 2000s. That that's the copyright of that base plate GTO. Is it yellow? In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. That car is worth about $25 if it was still in its package, bud. <laughs> Just let you know. Turn left. In 200 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Yeah, corkscrews. We'll probably get some in the future, don't worry. Don't worry. You have arrived at your destination. 
So yeah, Pack, that uh, that Ferrari GTO you have is worth actually quite a bit of money for a fucking Hot Wheel. It's not the Ford I thought it was. Turns out it's the five window coupe, 1932. Beautiful. When this thing came out, a brand new one and set you back a cool 500 bucks. Yep. Ever feel like maybe you were born in the wrong year? That's fucking cool. It's got two sets of custom preset. That's what I thought. That is exactly what I expected. Fucking beautiful. The 32 Ford Hot Rod. It is the exact model I thought it was. I just didn't realize that that's what it started out life as. I will be so tickled if somebody has the blue and white paint job I'm looking for. Moonies. Bummer. They got a Volbeat, though. That's pretty cool. Volbeat's a popular band right now. No worries, gunman. You take it easy, buddy. We'll see you next time. Before you take off, though, gunman, let me confirm. You voted for Bulletstorm Folk Lip Edition, right? Because I didn't mark your name down like I normally do. <laughs> I'm not marking you guys' name down for the recent vote, so you have to uh, bear with me. Oh, sweet. Wow. Well, does a lot of the upgrading for you. Gotta have red lines. Gotta have red lines. Dude. The Ferrari Enzo is expensive as shit, man. Shit. We can't have it with red lines without making an S1 class. I don't like that. So we're gonna leave it as is. Rear tires are maxed. Front tires, they get pretty big too. We don't need to do that. Oh yeah, dude. The Enzo was a one-of-a-kind and it drew a lot of attention
We'll keep the rims they gave us. So what kind of en I want to see what kind of engines they let us swap into this thing. Oh, it's got a fucking body kit set. Oh, nice. You can get one of the fucking bars and shit. The Revington. Yeah, that's a nice Lambo. Oh, look, is this 5.2 liter V8. Sweet. a good engine. Although, I don't recall ever seeing one that looked like that. <laughs> but it is still indeed a V8. Nice. So pretty much it already installed everything I was looking for. <laughs> that I would install on the thing. The only thing that's missing is that paint job. I can't search or else it'll cut the broadcast off. So I'll I'll find the paint job later. For now, let's take this Ford out for a ride. <laughs> it's a bit of a wheel eater. This thing's really hard to drive. <laughs> Just like I expected. Oh man. God. <laughs> it doesn't want to turn, and then when you turn, it just slides. I can't control it because it's sliding, and I don't know how to do that, so I'm just fucking slamming into walls and shit. We sunk through the ground right there. We sunk through the track. We landed too hard. Selene S7, yeah. But the list of hot wheels that I have, I, I can't even begin listing them all off because I have so fucking many. I have thousands. Thousands of Hot Wheels, and I need to start getting rid of some of them because I'm going to end up getting thousands and thousands more as time goes on. If I don't start getting rid of them before I get my own place, I'm not going to have anywhere to store them. That'd just be a disaster.
Dude. Get a fucking clip of that, please. That was insane. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have been surprised by a crazy Hot Wheels stunt accident like that, but dudes, that was awesome. Awesome, Pack. Thank you. You are the man. Since I don't have any fucking moderators here, I appreciate it. Thing's just too squirrely for me to be used to. <laughs> nice, bud. called Roll Patrol is what one of the Hot Wheels Jeeps out there that was made. It was military themed, but it wasn't actually a military Jeep. But Hot Wheels called it the Roll Patrol. So whatever uh, whatever they call it on that is probably what it was known at that's the time. CJ2A makes sense. How was Roll Patrol? 1983, I believe. straight right there, that was stupid. Oh, 
Oh man, I can't do any races in this thing, it's too unstable. <laughs> so let's hit this race again, see if we can improve. In 100 yards, keep left. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards, turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Most of these are too slow. Uh oh. Oh no. God damn it. Control disconnected again. So, yeah. I hit the A button one too many times, and I'm in a Jeep. Let's run it for shits and giggles, shall we? Hey, it's the uh, Toyota Hilux. I'm so excited about that thing, too. Oh, don't be gone too long, Pack. The broadcast is going to end soon. So make sure you get back as quick as you can. Really? course can't do it in the jeep it maxes out at 160 just like the rip the rip rod was even though the rip rod has fucking eight gears but i didn't realize it i couldn't get it up to speed so we need to come up with something a little faster Choose the stunts we use. Oh, cool. We can change our stunts and shit. That's really neat. So some of the sections that have like turbo jumps and all that jazz can be turned into something else. That's really cool. God damn it. Computer just unplugged itself. <laughs> and 
increase the braking force and get better response out of it in the corners. Not what I meant to hit. Damn it. Alright, let's see if we can get this bad boy up to speed. Really? Dude, yeah, you should get Forza Horizon 3 anyways. Just because it's such a great fucking game, man. Uh-oh. This is not good. You should have been sold from the first day you seen me playing it, man. Oh, shit. Hey, Stewie, welcome to the broadcast, buddy. How you doing tonight? Although you're late, which is alright. But it's good to see you here, partner. Man, please re download it. That way, we can get you in here and we can play around on Fridays and shit and other days. Have a good time. Fucking seventh place. I did even worse than my previous run. Fucking hell. Track builder. Swap out a stunt for another of your choosing. Nice.
But we still failed. We've already finished it and won it, but we haven't finished it and won it while completing a lap time of a minute and 55. I just don't think we're going to be able to do it yet. Hell yeah, an unused section of track. <laughs> You might be able to, bud. I mean, Forza Horizon is still pretty fucking popular. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is interesting. This looks like one of the things you'd find on a garage set, or one of the sets that has an elevator on it. A Hot Wheels track set, that is. Interesting. All right, cool. I should have known better. Well, guys, gals, viewers. I had a lot of fun playing around with this tonight. I look forward to continuing to play around with it some more, but uh, we're going to call it quits here. It, it's not quite time to end because I started a little bit late, but I'm not doing anything productive. And, you know, there's only been a couple of you that have been active in the chat, which is alright. I don't mind. I just, I got nothing to talk about, nothing I can think about other than how fucking awesome this DLC is. 
The level of batshit crazy is... is perfect. So as we jump through this loop-the-loop, -loop, looking like a badass, all I can say to you guys is I look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening as we play the Crew Wild Run expansion. Until next time. Have a good one.